Hello everyone. I hope you all are fine. Today we are going to take some important MCQs for SPPU online examination 2021 on the topic phase rule for the TYBSC physical chemistry paper. So in this lecture we have to focus on some important questions on the chapter phase rule so first of all a very warm welcome to all of you before starting the actual lecture please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for getting the notification for the new videos which is uploaded in upcoming days so let's start the actual questionnaire so the first question is here and the question is the temperature at which two phases of a substance exist in a state of equilibrium is called as and the options are option a is atmospheric temperature option b is relative temperature option c is transition temperature and the option d is absolute temperature and the correct answer among these four is this temperature is called as the option c is correct that is this temperature is called as the transition temperature now le next let's look towards the next question question number 2 and the question number 2 is here the question is the clausius clapeyron equation gives the information of variation of vapor pressure of liquid with and the options are option a is temperature option b is pressure option c is concentration and option d is density and the correct option among these four is this in a clausius clapeyron equation it gives the information of variation of vapor pressure of a liquid with temperature so the answer the option a is correct answer for this question number 2 let's look towards the next question and the question number 3 is here a substance or a mixture of substances which is isolated in some way from other substances is called as and the options are a option is phase b option is component c option is system and the fourth d option is a degrees of freedom and the correct options among these four is option number c that is it is called as the system so system is nothing but a substance or a mixture of substances which is isolated from some mean from the other substances that's why it is called as the system now let's look towards the next question the question number 4 is here and the question is a homogeneous part of a system that is physically distinct and mechanically separable from the other parts of the system is called as and the options are a option is system b is phase c is component and the option d is degrees of freedom and the correct option among these four is nothing but the option b that is it is called as the phase so phase is a homogeneous part of the system that must be physically distinct and mechanically separable from the other parts of the system so we can say that these phases of a system are separable from one another now let's look towards the next question and the next question is a question number 5 and the question number 5 is here minimum number of molecular spaces in terms of which the composition of all the phases may be quantitatively expressed is called as and the options are option a is phase option b is component option c is system and the option d is degrees of freedom and the correct option among these four is option number b that is it is called as the component so component is nothing but the minimum number of molecular spaces or the molecular spaces in which we can explain totally the phases of a particular system so this component is very important in order to explain the composition of phases quantitatively of a particular system now let's look towards the next question and the question number 6 is here the water system is component system and the options are one option b is two option c is a three and option d is a 
none of these so the water system so what is the component for water system so we know very well that water system has the one chemical composition that is the h2o in this chemical composition we can explain or express quantitatively all the phases of this water system and that's why you can say that this water system has the one component system and the correct option is a that is it is called as the one component system now let's look towards the next question the question number seven is here what are the number of phases for following system and the system is given here calcium carbonate in a solid state it gives calcium oxide in a solid state plus co2 in a gaseous state so the options are a option is zero b option is a two c option is a one and the d option is a three now if we look toward this particular system what happens in this system the three different chemical compounds are there first is a calcium carbonate in a solid state next is calcium oxide in a solid state and the third is a carbon dioxide in a gaseous state so as far as the rules for counting the number of phases for a given system we can we know very well that each particular compound present in a solid state are counted as a different phase now in this case two different solid compounds are present so we can say that this calcium carbonate is counted as, as a one phase the calcium oxide is again counted as a separate phase so this is a one plus one two and the third compound is carbon dioxide it is present in a gaseous state that's why the total phases present for the system is a one plus one two plus one three and that's why the correct option among these four is nothing but the d option that is the number of phases for the given system is three so this d option is the correct option now let's look towards the next question and the question number eight is here the non-variant system have degrees of freedom and the options are a option is zero b option is a one c option is a two and the d option is a three now we know very well the types of the system based upon its degrees of freedom whether degrees of freedom is a zero one two or three each system have the different terminology so now if the non-variant system is there then for this non-variant system what is the value for f and the correct answer for this particular non-variant system is that it has a f value is equal to zero and that's why the correct answer is option number a that is a it is it has it is a it has the zero degrees of freedom now let's look towards the next question the question number nine and the question number number nine is here the system having two degrees of freedom is called as and the options are non-variant system monovariant system bivariant system and fourth is a tri-variant system now in these questions the question is there based upon if a degrees of freedom is equal to two then what is the name of that particular system and these four names of a system is given non-variant stands for the system having f degrees of freedom equal to zero monovariant stands for system having degrees of freedom equal to one bivariant system stands for the system having degrees of freedom equal to two and trivariant system stands for those system which having the degrees of freedom equal to three now in this case what happens they ask us if two degrees of freedom is there then what is the name of that system and the correct answer for this particular question is that that system is called as the bivariant system and that's why the correct option is the option number c the c option is the correct answer now we have to see the next question question number 10 is here and the question is the equation for phase rule is and the equations the options are your option is f is equal to c minus p the option c is there f equal to c minus p and option d is f equal to c plus p plus 2 and the correct option that is the correct equation for phase rule is nothing but the option a that is the equation is f equal to c minus p plus 2 now let's look towards the next question the question number 11 is here and the question is the number of triple points present in water system are and the options are a is 1 b is a 2 c is a 3 and d is a 4 and the correct option of this question is nothing but the number of triple points present in water system are option a that is number of triple points are equal to 1 so this is the correct answer for this question number 11. 
Now let's look towards the next question. The question is the question number 12 is here. A diagram which depicts the conditions of equilibrium between various phases of a substance is called as and the options are energy profile diagram, phase diagram, temperature diagram and fourth is a stability diagram. We know very well that whenever a diagram uses the information regarding the conditions of equilibrium between various phases of a substance that diagram is called as the phase diagram. So the correct answer for this question is nothing but the option B that is it is called as the phase diagram. So up to this we focus on the 12 different questions on the phase wheel chapter. These questions are important on the various concepts in this phase rule chapter. So this is an overview of some important concepts from this phase rule chapter. In our next lecture, we will focus on the remaining concepts from this chapter. So with this, I stop here. Thank you. Thank you so much.